most people, when they reach October, they're already focusing on Halloween. Are they going to go trick-or-treating with their kids? What costumes will they buy? The health-conscious people will focus on October being National Chiropractic Care Month. And it's our pleasure to tell you about this natural, safe, holistic form of healing. We are very excited that we not only have our favorite health guru, Beverly Nadler, to explain how and why chiropractic care can enhance your health regardless of your condition, but joining Beverly Nadler today is Dr. Timothy Schaub, a second-generation chiropractor who will share several true stories of remarkable healings with you. Today's show will no doubt inspire you and may even motivate you to seek chiropractic care for yourself and your family. As for me personally, I've always been an advocate of chiropractic care. Uh, I've used it in times where I could barely walk to the front of my apartment to get a cab. I was in so much pain. And I left the chiropractic office walking just fine and feeling just fine. So I know firsthand about those kind of miracles. And then I always sought chiropractic care at least once a week for preventative reasons. So this show is a very important show. If you've never been to a chiropractor, it certainly may change your mind and motivate you to start now. There's no time like the present. So without further ado, let me bring to you our health guru, my best friend, Beverly Nadler. Thank you, Joyce. And that was a a wonderful um, introduction to this subject today because we know that um, most people don't realize how wonderful chiropractic is, although between 27 and 30 million people actually use chiropractic every year. It is the third largest licensed healing profession uh, behind medical doctors and dentists, and um, it's it's the only the the only licensed natural healing, or I should say, the first and foremost natural healing um what can i call it it's it's an art and a philosophy and it's it's a marvelous marvelous uh, help and aid to people because the nervous system runs your entire body and it is the major system that determines the health of all of your other systems and what chiropractic is really about is that your spine and nervous system are directly linked to your health your brain is protected by the skull, and your nervous system is actually an extension of the brain. And the spinal cord, which is the main part of the, spi- of the nervous system, of course, is protected by the 24 moving bones of the spine. Now, people say, well, what is a chiropractic adjustment, and what is it based on? It's based on the fact that when these bones any of these bones are out of position, they are interfering with some function in the body. They can cause pain or malfunction or both. Of course, we're most familiar with it when there's back pain. That's what people mostly associate chiropractic with. But you see, the nerves that extend from your brain through your spinal cord go to every single part of your body. And if any of those nerves are being, um, what we call it impinged, meaning that a bone is out of position, it's pressing on a nerve, um, you're not going to get the energy, the life force, the the transmission from the brain uh, going to that part of the body. So it doesn't matter um, where this is happening um, as far as is, is chiropractic good for this or for that. There is not a condition that chiropractic cannot improve. More important, perhaps, is that it prevents so many conditions from happening. It can prevent back problems, prevent asthma, arthritis, um, infectious diseases. People are so worried about Ebola now. Well, your nervous system is your primary system, and it affects your immune system. If you've got a strong functioning immune system, you are going to prevent disease. It's 
as simple as that, even though people think it's complicated. It's not complicated. If there are problems with the functioning of the spinal bones, a variety of systems and pain syndromes can arise. And a chiropractor looks to the spine to find where there might be neurological involvement and corrects it. That's as and that's what a chiropractor does, and every chiropractor uses uh, extensive um, examination. Many use x-rays to discover where the problem is. It's not that somebody just comes in and I'll give you an adjustment. They have four years minimum of training, and most chiropractors that I know um, are continuously studying, and they're not only learning about the body and chiropractic and different ways of, of helping to heal uh, through chiropractic, they also learn about nutrition because they're aware of the importance of biochemistry, and uh, the doctor we have with us today, in fact, has a master's in nutrition, so he uses that in conjunction with chiropractic, but you see, you can have the best nutrition in the world, but if you are not have if you don't have a, a a nervous system that is directing these messages from the brain which we can call nerve energy or life force or it's also been called innate intelligence um even the wonderful nutrition is not going to help you you've got to have good functioning from your brain nervous system and the spine determines that Wow, that is, you know, quite a lot to share uh, in the sense that we want people to grasp how important chiropractic work is. And you've been an advocate of it as long as I know you. And your daughter is a chiropractor. Your ex-husband is a chiropractor. So who would know more than you do as a layman? So I'm so delighted that you're here today, and I'm delighted that you brought along with you Dr. Schaub. Go ahead, Beverly. Well, I want to say that, you know, people have questions as to can I use chiropractic if I'm pregnant. I can tell you most assuredly that chiropractic is not only going to help the mother have a better and safer delivery, but it also has an effect on the unborn child. And when my children were born also, they had an adjustment immediately in their hospital because there are many times when you're um, – bringing the child, the child comes out of the birth canal, um, the neck is actually manipulated in such a way that it can cause a problem. And uh, by having the child, well, the infant adjusted gently, you know, people are afraid, uh, you know, it's going to hurt. No, there's all kinds of techniques, and chiropractors are so well-trained in what to use and what technique to use on who they're dealing with. Um, I've, I've seen such incredible, remarkable results with stroke victims that uh, my ex-husband was taking care of, people that were in wheelchairs that were able to walk again, uh, arthritic conditions. And with children, oh, I can think of one that had allergies that his mother wrote two pages of what he was allergic to. And within a few weeks, this child had zero allergies. I mean, this is, we're talking about something that is, truly remarkable. It's not a miracle. We think of it as a miracle, but it's not. The body heals itself when it has what it needs and when the spine is properly aligned. And uh, I would like to bring on um, Dr. Schaub to tell you some of the remarkable cases that that he's taken care of and the things that he's seen in his 30 years of practice. Dr. Schaub was awarded the Doctor of the Year in 1995, and recently he returned from an orphanage in the Dominican Republic where he and his maiden energy healer uh, treated the children and the staff, I think over 100 people, with chiropractic adjustments. Dr. Go Schaub. ahead, Dr. Schaub. Well, thank you, Beverly, and thank you, Joyce. Those were such wonderful introductions to chiropractic. I don't think I could say it better myself. So um, I, I appreciate the opportunity to share with the listening audience today. And um, Beverly asked me to share some stories. So I think I will start from the very beginning of my life, which was my, my first experience with chiropractic 
was actually with my dad, who was a chiropractor who practiced for over 60 years. My mom practiced for over 55. My sister, Dr. Holly Lehman, is a chiropractor in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Her ex-husband worked at the University of Bridgeport Chiropractic, and my other brother-in-law practices in Virginia Banks, in Virginia Beach, and his name is Scott Banks. So my family has been involved in chiropractic for uh, more than 100 years combined. But um, my dad was discharged from the military in the early 1940s, and he had a tropical liver fluke condition, which was called schistosomiasis japanicum. Now, most of the people that live in the United States certainly will never contract that disease. But it's a horrible disease because the liver uh, houses these flukes and they periodically travel through the spinal cord itself up to the brain where they lay their eggs. And my dad was discharged on medical discharge from the Philippines in World War II. And during that time, he kept trying to get released, but they wouldn't release him. And he knew he had to be released because he knew he had to get home to see a chiropractor to get adjusted. Now, the results of that situation was he kept in contact and wrote letters to 60 other men that were discharged with him at the same time because of this disease. And um, all 60 men were dead within three years. But my father practiced for 60 years. I think that right there tells you that because of the regular chiropractic care he had, he was able to survive a horrible, horrible, life-threatening condition. And um, we grew up that way. We never had any medicine in the medicine cabinet. We never took medications. We never took any type of aspirin or even the simplest things that people think are are non-threatening to the body. But in reality... Any pharmaceutical always has a side effect. I think everyone is well aware of that, as you know. But chiropractic puts nothing into the body. It takes nothing out. It simply reboots the neurological system so that our ability to uh, fight diseases and fight pain is dramatically improved. And it, that, this is, the, as Beverly mentioned, chiropractic is a philosophy, it's an art, and it's a science. But the science uh, that all types of people in the medical field, whether they're medical doctors, chiropractors, dentists, osteopaths, nurses, they study a book called Gray's Anatomy, and I'm not talking about the TV show. <laughs> but in, in, in Gray's Anatomy... Gray's Anatomy defines the central nervous system, and it says that it controls and coordinates every organ, every gland, every tissue, and every cell of the body. And in doing so, it adapts that individual to the environment so that it can handle the stresses that we face on a day-to-day basis and on a year-to-year basis and on a lifetime basis. So, of course, In my practice, I recommend that people get chiropractic care on a regular basis or a maintenance basis frequently for the rest of their lives. Joyce said that she goes to a chiropractor once a week, and I know I have always done that my whole life. Um, I've had other patients who have come in with skin conditions. I'm thinking of one girl particularly that I started with when she was 19 years of age, and at 19 years of age, she had had 14 years of bleeding from her skin. So she couldn't wear a white blouse. She couldn't wear white clothes. She was constantly itching and scratching. And her dad, who was a her dad, who was a uh, a malpractice attorney, uh, sent her to me, and he had spent during those years, oh, over $14,000 in co-pays, sending her to dermatologists, sending her to allergists, sending her to psychotherapists, sending her to group therapy, sending her to all these places. And, and she came in and she said to me, 
you know, can you help me? And I said, I believe that I can if you want to make the commitment to stay under regular care for a while, and I don't know how long that will be. But she did that, and in the period of a year, year and a half, she had stopped itching completely. She had stopped bleeding completely. She changed her diet. She stopped eating sugar. She started drinking more water. These were not easy things to convince people to do in the in the late 1970s. Um, people didn't understand how impure our water was then. They didn't understand how impure our air was. But over time, she completely stopped itching. She completely stopped bleeding from her skin. And uh, it, was a, it was one of the first really wonderful situations that I saw in chiropractic when I was in practice for myself. Since that time, there have been thousands of cases, thousands and thousands of cases of people who came into me when they were much younger. At that time, they looked much older, acted much older than they do today. Uh, one man in particular was involved in a serious motor vehicle accident. He was a, a professional race car driver, and he wrapped his Corvette around a tree, and the Corvette literally hung from the tree with him in it from his shoulder. And during that time period, he did something which we call subluxated his neck. And a subluxation is sometimes a major misalignment of a vertebra, but most likely it's a subtle uh, <clears throat> minor misalignment. But that the fact that it's subtle doesn't mean that it doesn't have huge influences in the body. Because when a patient is subluxated, their respiratory tract decreases. Uh, its function, uh, frequently there's nerve pain, uh, pain in the shoulders, pain in the arms, pain in the neck, as this gentleman had. Um, there was pain in his lower back. There was pain in his legs. He had sciatic pain. He had brachial neuralgia. He had restricted motion in his neck. He had limitation of his ability to walk. He came into me when he was about 55, I believe, and uh, he could barely walk up the stairs to my office, and I had very uh, short steps with a very good railing, and I would watch him come in the morning, and I would feel so bad for him, but he would be my first patient in the morning frequently. And he um, then could not walk, could barely perform his work, and um, <clears throat> during the course of the years, I continued to treat him, and he continued to improve, and with that, his pain alleviated in his head and neck and shoulders and arms, his pain alleviated in his back and legs, and his respiratory tract improved to the point where one day, I walked into the office, and he had not only been a professional race car driver, but he'd been a long-distance runner. And I walked in, he looked very sad. And I said, Bob, what's the matter with you? And he said, well, you're not going to be happy with me. And I said, why is that? And he said, well, you talked me out of racing years ago. And he said, I just want you to know that my colleagues in the race car industry kept asking me if I could I could possibly start racing again and here he was now not in his 50s but in his 70s and he started racing again not only did he wow. start racing start wow again, <laughs> that is very only, impressive doctor that is really impressive not only did he start racing cars again Joyce but he also started racing 5K races and, and and marathons, and I was just absolutely uh, overwhelmed by the fact that he had the ability to do that after that length of time. Whoa, um, can I just say something? Because I was looking, the athlete, there are many athletes that actually have chiropractors. There's many athletic teams that have chiropractors because they recognize the importance, especially because these uh, people, athletes, do have injuries, of taking care of them as soon as possible. And uh, you're certainly uh, 
proving that. Um, I know that's not the only case you've had, and of course my ex-husband and my daughter have had cases of how, and not only that, their athletic performance is improved without even talking about accidents, but that is an incredible, beautiful story. Well, it boggles the mind, actually. Uh, speaking of runners, I had another pa- I currently have another patient as well as Bob, who 22 years ago was run over by a black suburban, and the suburban broke every bone in his foot, oh my his God. ankle, his leg, his hip, and he had through the benefits of. Uh, chiropractic and physical therapy and sure will and determination began, be, had been able to walk again even though his spleen was completely ruptured and he was basically debilitated for months in the hospital. But he got out, he started working, he started walking, he started running again. And many chiropractors had treated him before he came to me. His last chiropractor recommended that he see me for the type of uh, kinesiological care that I do. And um, with that, he has improved to a degree that even many of his neuropathies and neuropathic pain in his feet and legs have have improved. And the, uh, the muscle atrophy, which basically means that the muscle has, had grown smaller in his left leg, began to come back, and so that now when I look at his legs, they're exactly the same size, which is just a, another miracle that he can still run 11 to 12 miles every every other day or sometimes every day. And, uh, you know, the body can live a long time without food. The body can even survive quite well sometimes without adequate amounts of water. Not that I'm recommending that at all. Believe me, I'm not because water is so important. But the body really doesn't do well without, I say, 110% oxygen, meaning that if we cannot oxygenate ourselves, we don't do well. The amount of oxygenation that occurs as a result of the chiropractic adjustment and relieving the pressure on the brainstem is uh, an unbelievable health benefit to people. So that people with asthma and allergies and other types of respiratory distress um, certainly improve dramatically and rapidly under, under chiropractic care. Tim, could you enlarge upon that? Because of all the things that I know about chiropractic, and it's a lot, I have never heard or even thought about the fact that chiropractic care helps to oxygenate the body. Oh, please. Absolutely. That, that is so extraordinary to me. Well, it's, it goes back to what I said about Gray's Anatomy, that the Spine and central nervous system controls and coordinates every organ and every gland and every tissue of the body. Uh, so when you have a poorly functioning lung, when you have a poorly functioning sinuses, as you know, many people go to a chiropractor for the first time, Beverly, for their sinuses, but uh, there is a nerve supply that goes directly into the lungs there's the nerve supply that goes directly into the sinuses. And just as importantly, there's a nerve supply that goes directly into the diaphragm. We say C3, 4, and 5 keeps the diaphragm alive. Well, the third cervical, the fourth cervical, and the fifth cervical vertebra has a nerve supply that supplies the diaphragm muscle, which is like a half of a football. If you took a machete and you slice the machete from the long end of the football to the other, that muscle fits underneath the rib cage, and the rib cage is elevated and depressed because of that muscle, and therefore that's one of the ways that the lungs actually breathe, and the rib cage allows the, the lungs to expand fully. So if there are entrapments in any of the ribs along the the 12 ribs that run on either side of the lungs or there's entrapment in the diaphragm muscle or there's entrapment in the nerve supply into the lungs, 
then oxygenation cannot be completely fulfilled. Wow. Does that explain it well, Beverly? Well, yes. I mean, I had a sinus condition. That was, I had it my whole life until I met Phil. You know Phil, my ex-husband. I I remember that. That's why. Yeah, I and and um, he put his hand on the back of my neck. I met him at a dance. Put his hand on the back of my neck, and he says, "You have a sinus condition." And I, well, I didn't know anything about chiropractic. In fact, I was so ignorant of what it was that when I went to his office for my first adjustment, and I looked at a sign, and it said Phil Nadler, D.C. I'm saying, "What the heck is D.C.?" And I said, oh, he went to school in Washington. That was what I thought. (laughs) I didn't even know it meant doctor of chiropractic. Anyhow, um, I had nose drops every day of my life, as far as I can remember. Five years old, I remember they drained my sinuses. And within a few weeks, I threw them away, and that was the end of it. And I've never had a sinus condition since. There are many, and many. And you've certainly been around chiropractors ever since. Folks, you're listening to Joyce Barry and Friends dot com with our health guru Beverly Nadler and chiropractor extraordinaire Dr. Timothy Schaub. You should be listening to this show every day, folks, for information and education that literally could change your life. Here in the wise words of our health guru is why this show will impact your life. Listen to me. I have something to say about a wonderful way to start your day, a way to stimulate your mind and increase your energy, make you feel so good. And guess what? It's free. Weekdays at 11 a.m. Eastern, hear the Joyce, Barry, and Friends show. You'll find it on the Internet, on Blog Talk Radio. This show is upbeat and fun and very inspirational. It's informative, educational, and very motivational. There's the Coach's Corner, great quotes and news. There are suggestions, perspectives, and advice you can use to enhance your life and improve your health, plus clever, simple ways to increase your wealth. Joyce's perceptions and personality will keep you captivated, and her guests from many walks of life will always keep you fascinated. When Joyce and her friends speak, it's like you're in the conversation. This is part of what makes her show so unique, really a sensation. For Joyce's friends are not only the guests you're listening to, they're everyone who is tuning in. Yes, I do mean you. So refer your friends and family They'll be so pleased to know, and let's make Joyce, Barry, and Friends the number one internet radio show. And folks, we invite you to partner up with us to have that happen, to be the number one worldwide radio show. My website is Joyce, Barry, and Friends. Dot com and right under uh, my picture on the upper left on the home page, you can click on follow, become one of our followers, and you will hear from Blog Talk Radio every day the topic, the guest, what the show is about. So you can be right on top of it. We love our loyal followers, so please become a follower. You need not miss any show because if you're not with us at 11 a.m. Eastern, uh, you can go to the Internet 24-7, hear any show, all of them are in our archives. I never removed a show. Beverly uh, brought to the show today Dr. Schaub, and um, she gave a brief introduction. But I'm looking at three pages of credentials about Dr. Schaub that if I were to introduce him and, and read you what was on the 